Hi, everyone. Um, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to share with you, so we're going to do a plan with me here coming up, but I had to share with you these cutie little small, almost like TNs of stickers from this new company, a new company to me called Every Minute a Story. I absolutely love their shop. They're full of positivity, affirmation-like stickers, and I'll show you some of these up close. But they're so cute. They um, Some of their sticker TNs, if you will, if they're available, come with a little jelly cover. <laughs> it's just like a novelty item. It's just adorable. Of course, you could use the stickers inside. I'm not planning on doing it. But they are just so cute. A wonderful small business. Um, I'm not affiliated with them. I don't get a cut. I'm not selling anything. I'm just sharing it with you because I think they're absolutely a great option. These are all the ones I've been collecting. And of course, a lot of their 2024 stickers, which I'll show you here in a minute. So let's do this. By the way, this little pin here is also from them. Isn't that cute? It's a magnetic pin. And I also have a bunch of their little enamel pins that I put on my sticker bag. But they're just adorable. Okay, this is an example of one of their stickers. They look very similar to the Coffee Monster Scroll, don't they? But they're very different. This one is more, I don't know, more childlike. So cute. Okay. And I brought up all the stickers I've been collecting from them. Just breathe, little Buddha one. They also have um, journal prompts, which I love. Like, for example, one word to describe the year. A new skill I learned this year, most memorable day of the year, et cetera, et cetera. And they just have a bunch of little affirmations, um, journal prompts, and they have different numbers for the series. Accept your feelings, mental self-care bucket list, just really cute stickers, which I'll be using um in 2024 and I'll share with you my 2024 let's see they also have these great die cuts small or big be thankful you are blessed and we really are and these are some of their stickers I've already used some of these you'll see them coming up here in my planner these are some of their die cuts so let's push that to the side and let's take a look at my little planner so this is a 2024 paper test planner that just came in this weekend and i want to show you what i've done to it i've added holographic sticker paper to it and I covered it all the way around. I really like that instead of having a cover. This is a the Coffee Monsters Co. 2024 vinyl. This is Dear Self die cut that I glued. This is from uh, Every Minute a Story. These are cloth and paper sticky notes. These I cut myself from the Coffee Monsters Co. Um, if you join their Facebook group, you should be able to download these and then cut them yourself. Coffee Monsters Co. here, how cute. Let's see.
I'm planning on using this here, which obviously I can't start until January, but I'm planning on keeping track of some new habits. Now, some of these I've carried on for quite some time and I'm already, it's already a habit, like drinking lemon water every morning before coffee, um, exercising, skincare, those things are pretty much embedded, if you will. But I still want to keep track of them um, here in the monthlies overview. And I've written all this in pencil for now. Here I have December, since this starts in December of 2023, I've already written out some things, but I don't want to write in pen yet because I don't want it to be messy if it's wrong. I've used a Coffee Monsters Co. Months. I've actually cut out one of the things I do not like is the sad emojis that are being used for the months. Just from a you create your own reality, why would you put some of these that look so sad? For example, and I'll show you. So I cut I cut those emojis out on the tabs. I'll show you what I mean. And some people might like this, and that's fine, but I don't. Like, these are quite happy. These are happy emojis, right? But the ones I used, um, it was different color scheme. Let me see. Let me see if I have any because I still have some. Here. Should be able to show you. They're so tiny. Of course, they're not going to be the, un the unhappy ones. These are the happy ones. But I had to follow suit for the rest of them. So you won't be able to see the other emojis. I actually threw them away. But anyway, the emojis' faces were angry or sad or things like that, which I did not want to look at all year. So to go back to the tabs, I replaced, I just cut out the, the name of the month and I add a little cute stickers from different planners. I mean, from different sticker sheets, just the little ones you can see, like this is a little happy mail. Come on camera. Well, I'm sticking out. So I have the tabs from there. I also use the habits. I just took an Avery tab and just so I can move it around if I wanted to. And I put in the Coffee Monsters Co. labels. Like this one says habits on both sides. And I can reuse it this way. I also have, so this is the month of December and I have it marked with my own tab here. Again, I've used an Avery tab so I can reuse these. I just taped it on the back. And this is the monthly sticker I used in, um, this little face is a beanie from Every Minute of Story. And all of these stickers here are from Every Minute of Story. Now these um, funny holidays, I guess you can call it, are from Coffee Monsters Co. For example, Houseplant Appreciation Day, or Swiss Cheese Day, <laughs> Croissant Day, Wikipedia Day. Those are all from Coffee Monsters Co. And then these are from every minute of the story. And I went ahead and put them down on every month 
these markers for the spring equinox or the winter solstice or the summer solstice, those stickers came from every minute of the story. So I went ahead and marked those. See, every month has been placed. Now, this is the week that Paper Task includes where we could start using this planner for 2024. And it starts on November 27th of 2023. And I have these sticky notes here because I don't want to mess this up. I want to make it neat and beautiful. These are tabs that I've included here just so I can move it for every week. I also added a wish sticker. Again, Avery tab with wish from every minute of story. And then I added highlights. Keep track of amazing things throughout 2024. This is excited. And what I wanna do here is, I wanna set this up quarterly goals. So I went ahead and wrote this out here and I separated the page. And then this part here is just brain dumps. Just some ideas, I wanna jot them down there. And this is for future type of area. So that's it for the setup. Now let's see how we're going to set up this planner. So from Monday through Friday, Saturday and Sunday, I know the following week I'm taking a big test, certification test. So maybe I should write it down here. Where is my pencil? There it is. Okay. And then I also want to go to Costco. Now, how do I want to set this up? I've seen some people keep track of some people keep track of their sleep here, habits here, maybe. No, I would make this to do. So this is my old planner for this year. And if I look at November, there's nothing coming up for November um, for the rest for the rest of this month. So that's good. So no appointments that I have to keep track of here. Hmm. I want to definitely just and then. Look at what I'm talking about. Note to self, sometimes the smallest step in the right direction ends up being the biggest step in your life. And this is World Vegan Month, apparently the month of November. Oh, cute. Also have 
Where is it? I also have this little sticker booklet from Coffee Monsters Co. Let's see. Weekly Reflection Journal Plans. These are great. This Buddha is so cute. Oh, I forgot. I do have a I have a coffee monsters kowashi. You can use this one. How cute is that? Maybe. This is my first year ever using a paper test planner. And I'm so glad I have it. I do love it. I love the paper. Um, I want to see if the layout actually works for me. And that will only come via playing with it. So we'll see how that works. Let's put this guy. Oh, 
old washi tape, very cute. I do have to water my plants. So I usually do that on Fridays. Let's use this um, purple twisty well the ink is purple diamine I think I forget the name of it uh twisby I haven't tested this to see if it bleeds let's see water plant and that is pretty good there is not very much a bleed to check that up very nice I do need to Wondering if there's a way to track a habit here. But how would I do it? It's just too cute. I can put maybe these are to do. Maybe cut this. I don't know what is up with someone that shall not be named. What is the problem with cutting a straight line using scissors? Huh? How hard could it be to cut a straight line with scissors? We're going to try that again. And that's a win. So cute. Let's see what else we have on. Happy mail. Hopefully, I get a happy mail next week. I don't know. Mm. Mm. I think I'm going to keep, well, do I want to write down
Okay. Let's get this out. I think I want to know if I like to do my planning on Sundays. So do this one. I have it in pencil just in case I have to erase it. These are really cute um, side stickers or peekaboo beanies as they call them. Let's do this one. Oh, jeez. Hmm. 
Thank you. I think this should be like a to-do list. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight what time I get up and then how long I spend like in chunks of time how much time I spend cleaning or working or exercising whatever it is like maybe do it that way and I'll color code it depending on, so if this could be four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's good enough. Yeah. I have a feeling I want to change the pink. No. I like how there's no bleed through whatsoever. That's very nice. Okay, and then I'll just write some highlights here as the day ends. At least that's the plan. We'll see. So this is it for the first week in my paper test planner. And we'll see how that works out. I like it so far. I'll come back to this. Well, thank you all for watching. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you on the next video. And if you're still here, please like or subscribe to the video. It helps me a ton. And I'd appreciate it very much. And thank you in advance. And I'll see you again on the next one. Bye.